Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want more videos about coding and interviews. So in this video, we'll be solving the problem lead code count primes. So the problem is that they give us an integer n and they ask us to count the number of prime numbers that are strictly less than n. So what do we mean by number prime? So a prime number is a number greater than one that is only divisible by one and itself. So the brute force approach to solve this problem is by checking every number from three to n and verify if it's a prime or not. But the problem with this solution is that it's not efficient. So the best way to solve this problem is by using a technique or algorithm called CF of Eratosthenes. So this method is an old algorithm for finding all prime numbers up to any given limit. So the first thing we need to do is to initialize a boolean array of size n and set all his elements to true except 0 and 1 because 0 and 1 are not prime numbers. Then we're going to use a nested loop to iterate over the numbers from 2 to the square root of n because any composite number less than n must have a prime factor that is less than or equal to the square root of n. So for each number i, if is prime i is true, the loop iterate over all multiplies of i less than n and set their corresponding value in the array to false. So this is done because any multiple of a prime number is not itself a prime. Finally, the function gonna return the sum of values in its prime that are still true, which give us the count of prime number less than n. So let's take an example so that you can see how it's gonna work. Let's say we have an input integer of 15. So we start by iterating from the number 2 because we, as we know, 0 and 1 are not prime numbers. So the index of the for loop is equal to 2 so we check inside the array is the number 2 is prime so it's true then the loop iterate over all multiplies of 2 less than 15 and set the corresponding value is prime to false so this is because any multiple of, of a prime number is itself composite and it's not prime so by making these multiples as non-prime the function is effectively saving out all the composite number less than n so what do we mean by composite number so we mean that there are numbers that have more than two factors and other word composite numbers are numbers that are not prime for example 4 is a composite number because it has factor 1 and 2 and 4 on the other hand 5 is a prime number because it only has factor of 1 and 5 so the loop gonna start at 4 and then iterate over 6 and 8 and 10 and 12 and 14 and set them all as a false and the array is prime then we move to the next number 3 which is the next number prime so since the number 3 is not a multiple of 2 meaning it's have a boolean of true in the array we're gonna iterate over all multiples of 3 less than 15 and set the corresponding value in the array is prime to false so we set the number of 9 and the number 12 to false inside the array since these are the multiples of 3 then we move to the next number 4 so since 4 is already marked as non prime number in the first iteration using the number 2 and also the square of 4 is bigger than n so we will stop the loop and return the sum of all true numbers in the array as a result which represents the count of prime number less than n. So because we are using the CF Eratosthenes algorithm, the time complexity is O of n log of log n. Because for each value of i index of the inner loop, the loop iterates over all multiples of i less than n, which, which takes O of n divided by i time. And the space complexity of the function is O of n since we are creating an array there are structure of size n to store the prime flags. That's it guys. So let's jump at coding the solution. So we'll start by checking if n is less than 2 we return 0 meaning we don't have a prime number then we create a list is prime of length n where each value is initially set to true except the two numbers 0 and 1 since they are not prime numbers then we set a for loop that iterates over the numbers from 2 to the square root of n and at each iteration we check if the number at i index is prime after that we set a nested loop that iterates over all multiples of i less than n and set them as non-prime number by setting the corresponding element of the array is prime at index g to false. Finally, we return the sum of the values in the array is prime that are still true, which represent the count of prime's number less than n. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.